So we'll start out with the Twitter hearing. So last week, the Republican Oversight Committee held a hearing with former Twitter execs, which makes no sense to me. Why are we talking to people that no longer work there? But <clears throat> it's up to them, right? It's their hearing. And uh, got a little out of control. <laughs> so just so you know. Define out of control, Duncan. Oh, what do we mean by that? I don't have to define. I can show you. <laughs> show me what out of control looks like, Duncan. Show me. <laughs> yeah, okay. So first off, the hearing was... Uh, it wait, was a minute, wait a minute. Does this deserve the title of Republicans Gone Wild? It could be. It could be. That could <laughs> okay, be a good I'm one. I'm so excited. Let's do it. So first off, real quick, it was a it was over six hours. This Twitter hearing, so it was a long hearing. Mostly that is a, not a tweet, man. Yeah. Tweets are concise. Mostly it was about this uh, New York Post article that came out in 2020 um, about Joe Biden's son Hunter, and there was some stuff that was leaked on the Twitter that were apparently nude photos of him, right? And of course, Twitter has this deal where you can't post nude photos of somebody, especially somebody who doesn't want them posted. Right. I, you know, I'm not usually all about censorship, but that feels pretty fair to me. Well, plus it's a you can't post other people's naked photos. That feels that feels yeah. Funny. So I think it falls under revenge porn and shit like that. So it's just right, right, right. So I'm I'm with Twitter on this one, but I also you know as a private company, they can set the rules for the most part of what they want to do, as long as they're not discriminating, right? Um, you know? Wait a minute, so that would sound like, so you can post other people's naked photos, but you over there, you can't. Yeah, they can't do that stuff. If they post, post a rule, right. it's for everybody, right? It's just like you go to a restaurant, if they say no shoes, no shirt, no service, it applies for everybody, right? It's like some really nice restaurants require you as a guy to wear a jacket, right? So that's, you know, I mean, if you post a rule, as long as it's not discriminating, it's cool with the business. Uh, the Republicans don't seem to get that. They seem to think that the First Amendment applies to private businesses. And it does it. It only applies to the, what the government can do. Right? <laughs> so anyway, let's watch them get confused. Here's Lauren Bobert, where she's going to start with her. And even though this has this hearing has nothing to do with her personally, um, she's going to take it very personal here. <laughs> so we're going to jump in, in the middle of her, her craziness. So these people are all not the people that are sitting at the desk here, former Twitter employees. They're not there anymore. Not to the best of my recollection. Well, let me refresh your memory because on March 12th, 2021, and Mr. Roth, I know you looked at it because fascist Twitter 1.0 had a public interest exceptions policy, which means for members of Congress to be shadow banned, it had to go before you, Mr. Roth. So I'll ask again, did you shadow ban my account? Yes or no? <laughs> Again, not to the best of my recollection. So the answer is, Mr. Roth, yes, you did. I found out last <laughs> from Twitter staff that you suppressed my account for this tweet. It's a freaking joke about Hillary Clinton being angry. <laughs> okay, <and Twitter>. so... <laughs> yeah, she's started... Wow. She's... Okay, so... Wait, so... So... This is now... A, a hearing where the mission is particular politicians just going after Twitter for having their own tweets. Right. So she's trying to make it into the the Twitter is biased towards liberals. For me. Yeah. Well, the bi it's biased towards liberals, and you just attack me and the conservatives. Right. We're the victims. Right. That's how she spun. But she started at an eleven, and she took it up to a fifteen real quick. <laughs> I mean, this wow, is, okay. I mean, she is literally five-year-old throwing a tantrum in Toys R Us level right now. <laughs> I mean, first off, this so is that. Second off, uh, the shadow ban thing. That's a, I don't know. That's a conservative dog whistle term. I don't know what it means. Basically, what happened was her account got suspended for this tweet. And we'll show the tweet here real quick. Um, and so this tweet here was what she got suspended for. She didn't get shadow banned by some mysterious entity. She got suspended because this tweet, Hillary must be pissed. It took the DNC until 2020 to successfully rig an election. She's basically saying the 2020 election was rigged. 
and after January 16th, right? Because this was January 9th. After January 6th, with the um, with the insurrection at the Capitol, Twitter was banning anything that said election denial or election fraud because those things had already led to a violent insurrection at the Capitol. So Twitter was saying, we're not posting that. We're suspending all that stuff. So she got suspended for violating Twitter's rules. But she thinks it's a big conspiracy, right? <laughs> so let's just let her finish this out real quick. But it's just crazy. But you see this, she's saying that the election was rigged to all the Trump supporters. And these are the people that just attacked the Capitol three days earlier. Right? Mm -hmm. She couldn't rig her election. It's a joke. But in response, being the sinister overlords that you all are, you placed a 90-day account filter so I could not be found. And now we see here <laughs> the Twitter staff said the visibility filter on my account excluded me from top searches, prevented notifications for non-followers, and much more. This is considered an aggressive visibility filter. You silenced members of Congress from communicating with their constituents. You, could, you silenced me from communicating with the American people over a freaking joke. Now, who the hell... <laughs> So let's read this though, because they they told her they're suspending her and why, right? Uh, the tweet received a civic integrity misinformation label, right? It was wrong. There was no rigging of the election. From automation on this date, 312, this resulted in the 90 days of account level visibility filtering that expired on 610. So account wasn't even suspended or banned. It was just filtered for a few days, for a few months. That's it. That's what she's freaking out about here. <laughs> let's go back and let's have her watch her scream about it, but it's fucking nuts. Over a freaking joke. Now, who the hell do you think that you are? Election interference? Yeah, I would say that that was taking place because of you four sitting here. The Hunter Biden laptop story was suppressed. A sitting member of Congress was suppressed. A, a sitting president was banned from Twitter. You know, I bet that Putin is sitting in the Kremlin wishing he had as much election inter intervention interference as you four here today. We've heard about threats to democracy. Well, what about shutting down a duly elected member of... <laughs> She makes me anxious. I don't want to watch her anymore. <laughs> Shit. Like, I really just want to switch her to decaf. Oh my god, it's just such a like just like so give her some herbal tea and just be like, chill lady. Like you would think that like they took her and tied her up to an office chair with duct tape over her mouth or something. Right. No, this is the uh this is the the spoiled girl getting kicked off the dance team kind of thing in high school and who the hell do you think you are oh my god <laughs> wow gosh you know what i'm glad that i'm drinking herbal tea right now because i feel like i need to come down a few notches <laughs> after that like that, oh, man. That, she was wrapped up man oh she is out there.